Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome to the SFL Cup Final, the first ever SFL Cup Final. We are playing against Hacks, which was one of our first ever games in the SFL League and uh, was a very, very good game. So here's a flashback at that. Last week's man of the match is someone that gave us all so much that you guys could even see it in the highlights. He was full of energy, up and down, all over the pitch. Gave us 60 minutes of hard work. Came back on after being injured as well. I'm going to give it to Qualms. The lineup for today's final is like this. John in goal. Right back Brad. Centre back Harry and Tolu. Left back Qualms. Midfield is Adem, Vance and also Eric. Sam on the right, Eri on the left, and Thomas through the middle. On our bench, we have Femi, Fred, Joseph, Junior, and Marcel. Afternoon, boys! Afternoon! How are you feeling today? What's happening, What's happening right? Good, man. Boys, I'll tell you now, watching you lot out there made my nerves chill. Watching you lot out there really showed me that you're all ready for what, what is to come today. I don't, have to let, I don't have to bring you up, I don't have to gas you, I don't have to do any of that. Because you know what this means. First SFL Cup final. Mm. First ever in this league, mm. period. Mm. And what have we done so far? Gone on beating in the league. Mm. Mm. Top the league with mm. flying colours. Mm. So I'm proud of you all for that. They said we're going to be sick. Yeah. Yeah. They said we're going to be sick. Yeah. But what happens? Yeah. Ball don't lie. So Ball does not lie today. Mm. Ball does not lie today. We have to keep our levels here. And when I say that, I mean, we play, we move our ball, the ball fast, we put the ball in that net a hundred times today. We are ruthless in front of goal. And I really, 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 really want you all to understand that today is not a pressure for a game, but it's a game where we can win something, it's that simple. So we win. We do our job and we win. This is exactly what we envisioned when we started UTR, playing alongside our friends, our brothers, and uh, reaching all sorts of heights, doing the best we can do, uh, reaching cup finals, uh, winning and losing together. We've been through a lot over this uh, five or so years. And today is another massive game. UTR up against Hacks. As I said before, it's a game that hasn't proved to be boring before. And I don't think it will do today. Uh, but Hacks in that sort of white and light blue shirt, UTR in the red is Eri, who's been a man in fine form qualms last week's man of the match as well. It's going to be a big game. We're going to need big players. Off we go then. Adem gets the game underway. It's back to Vance. And we are underway in this SFL Cup final. We find ourselves in their box. It's Tolu setting this one out wide to Eri. His first chance to take on his man down this left hand side. It's into the box. Not a bad delivery. No UTR shirts in close enough proximity to affect the ball, though. Vance tries to keep it alive for us, which he does. Uh, Tolu plays it into Harry. I think Harry's just come back from an offside position. Vance is midway through the UTR half, scanning and he sees a pass to Eri. A Dems in space, plenty of space really. Can he pick a pass? Sees Eric making a run behind and it's not far from connecting. Keeper was early though. It's at the back for Hacks. Swiped clearance away. First time pass from Vance, sets Eri away. And uh, he's got a lot of green in front of him. Can he make the most of it? Tries to cut a pass inside to Thomas, who's first to it. Wasn't the greatest of passes, but we've kept it alive for now. Thomas out here to Sam, into a Dem. Adem going to return the favour, play it out to Sam. He's got Bradley on the overlap, Adem still in the middle. Sam looks to shoot. Straight at the keeper. UTR throw just in front of the halfway line. Uh, Adem, a uh, bit of room for him, plays it out wide to Eri. You can see where we're trying to go with it. It's worked for us over the past couple of weeks. Just ask RJ. It's Eri. Decoy run from Adem. Allows Eri to have a bit of room to let one go. He does so, he obliges. Um, but it's straight at the keeper. Nevertheless, bright start from Eri. It's a ball out from the two into the 77. That's a lovely turn onto the 11. Tries to knock it round the corner. Tolu's in the way. Sam gets to it. It's cut out by the two. 
Axe go it on the left. Threading the pass through at 11. Loses his footing, regains it. Tolu's in the way there. Drops to Sam. Sees Vance in a bit of room. Vance onto a Dem. Can we build a good attack from this? That wide here to Quams. Quams has Eri in front of him. We know that already. Quams driving the ball forward. Finds Thomas or tries to. And it's a free kick. We're going to go short from this. It's a Dem back to Eric. Eric sees Brad out wide. It's a loose pass though. And quickly on it is Josh Asude. Previously of hashtag. Uh, Bradley does well to recover. Eric loses it again there. Chance to dive in there. And he does win the ball Asude. But we've got to do better than that. That's only going to build confidence for Hacks. It's knocked around the corner by the 77. Asude on the ball once more. Knocks it around the corner uh, to the red or orange boots on this left-hand side. Into the five. Takes it in his stride. Tries to knock it back. But it's blocked by Tolu. Comes to Asude. It's let run. It's here with the two. And that's a good opportunity. Maybe put off by Bradley and Tolu there. But he's got to at least get on target. Or at least you might think. Harry tries to thread one through. It's cut out. Thomas is able to win the ball back for UTI. He's got a couple of hack shirts around him. That uses Bradley. Bradley up against the number eight. We know who we're back in this one. It's blocked though. Comes into the box. Four. Can he get it away? Tries to do so. And Asude has been set down this left-hand side. He's got pace to burn. We know that. We've seen it plenty of times before. Just our Spencer Owen as he drives down this line. As he kept it in play. Maybe just about. Tolu's there to win the ball. Great challenge. Almost quarter of an hour gone. 11 into the two. Uh, Tolu and Quams in each other's way. Drops to the five here. Can he make room for a shot? Quams is back there. Seven now. Cuts it back to the 11. Uh, takes it onto the left foot. His shot looked to be going wide. They're claiming for a handball. I'm pretty sure that just cannoned off of Sam's head. Axe in possession on the left. Played into the 77. Knocks it round the corner. Bradley makes a challenge and that's going to be a free kick. They're going to take it. Left side, edge of the box, into the box, into John's hands. Number two takes over for Hacks. Got Eric on his back. Can he wriggle away from him? He tries to. Eric wins possession and he feels like he's done nothing wrong there. The referee has given the free kick and Eric threw the ball away. So he's going to get a stern talking to. Bouncing ball to deal with. Uh, 11 just to ease his qualms out the way. We're claiming it's in the back. Adem commits the foul on the 11. We think we should have had the first one. But Adem gets a yellow card. Standing over the free kick is the 11. He's got the 7 making a run. He's bounced the pass and he's got it wrong. Eri's going to turn the pace and the burners on down this left-hand side. He's got hack shirts chasing him. Can he take it up the field? He's done well so far. He cuts inside. He's going to run into the last roadblock, which is the number 9. Sam on the ball. Adem making a run down the line. Thomas making a run in field. Eric in a bit of room too. Sam looks to the back post. Finds Eri. Can Eri let a shot off? Goes for it. It's blocked. I think it might have been going wide. 11 on the ball, been the brightest spark so far for Hacks, and that's a nice pass in behind, past the outstretched leg of Tolu, it's Josh Asude in the box, cuts back away from Harry, loses his footing in my opinion, I don't know, you guys might have a different opinion, they're calling for a penalty, I don't think it's even close to the conclusion, but we will get another look at it here, Josh Asude, number 36, cuts inside, and I think like it happens to so many people on this surface, his ankle has just got caught in the ground. Um, but he won't be the first and definitely not the last to experience that on such surfaces. As we had a throw, it's from Brad into Vance, who's going to try and settle it like he did so many times against Dons. That's what he brings in the middle and settle the play. Uh, going to play this one out wide here to Sam. Can he make any room for a shot across something? Tries to play into Vance just behind him. Toe in from the hacks defender. Nine tries to get control of it. Eri with a little fake shot. Eri takes it onto the left and Eri lets it fly. Oh my days. Drew's going to love this one. What a goal. Out of absolutely nothing, that is quality. Oh, my days. Oh, my word. Every what have you just done to him? This lad has had an amazing start to his UTR career. The attack is started by Vance, who drives through the midfield positively. Plays a 1-2 with Sam. The ball slightly behind him. Hacks have failed to clear the lines. Thomas defends from the front. The ball falls to Eri, who quick turns the defender, sends him to Malta, and in one movement, wraps the ball into the top right-hand corner, beyond the reach of the goalkeeper, as if that's his strong foot, by the way. My word, what a finish that is from Eri. Fantastic goal. 1-0 UTR. Wow, that might be a contender for goal of the season. That is really what he can give you. He started the game quite brightly, a few advances down the left, but that little fake onto his weaker foot and he just curls it in the far corner. That is a fantastic goal. Oh, 
I honestly don't think Eri has scored a bad goal for us. He's coming like Ruben Neves. As that advance picks the ball up in the middle, goes through the gap and tries to keep his foot in, but it's a, a free kick to UTR. That free kick is going to be taken by Sam, clips it to the back post. No one's really on the wavelength and uh, goes out for a goal kick. Here is Sam on that right hand side. Quite a few hack shirts to beat. Tries to go through the gap, doesn't really come off. Thomas tries to get there ahead of the number nine. He uses his body to get back in front and he's done well for us. It comes here to Vance. Vance does well and spins through the gap like an absolute Beyblade. Look like Black Dronza there. And uh, it's out wide here to Eri. Eri cuts back to the left. They don't want to see him do that again. Gonna find its way back to Vance. Little touch away. Gets through another gap there. It's on to a Dem. And uh, his shot is straight at the goalkeeper. But nice play from Vance there. Showing that he's got that agility despite. That big build. Thomas with it. Sets it back here to Sam. Sam with a bit of room. You know what's coming. It's a shot. And it's wide of the left post. Didn't look too far wide. John with a kick. Punts it into their half. Uh, it's going to go straight through. It's headed away by their defender. Should have just left it for the goalkeeper. Thomas going through there. Goes to the ground. He thinks he's been fouled. It's gone the other way. They've got plenty of time to get back into this game. It's the 11 escaping away from Quams. Tries to cut in on that left foot. Vance has read it really well. And he's able to even spin away from the 11. That plays it back here to Quams. Quams and to Tolu. Out wide to Vance. Vance tries to be too clever like Luis Suarez as this seven cuts it out. Plays it into the 11. Tolu's first to it. We retrieve possession. Adem to Vance and to Tolu. Uh, Tolu has Eric to his right. Refuses to use him. Bursts away from the number nine who's trying to track back there. He does so. Wins the ball but only momentarily as our captain's too strong for him there. Plays it out wide here to Sam with his weaker foot. Not a bad ball either. Uh, Sude trying to win it back off Sam. Loses his foot in for a moment and he just does give the corner. You ever seen a Sunday League Kulibali before? This is it. UTR corner. Sam on it. Curls it in with that left foot to the back post and it's going to be stopped here for a foul. Pretty sure it was his own player on the goalkeeper. Bouncing away into the 11. Adem quickly on him. Slips on a banana though and they might be able to break. It's the 11 into the 2. Uh, he's trying to get his head up and see a pass into the distance. It's not a bad ball either. Onto the 11. Can he get a shot if he does? And it trickles just narrowly wide of that post. Coming into the 77. Checks his shoulders but runs into the danger anyway. That's a dem. Shrugs him off like plankton. But Eric making the run. Thomas to his right. Shapes it onto his right foot. And it's straight at the keeper. Pax now with the 11. Everything they're doing at the moment coming through him. Asude back to the 11. Qualms makes his presence felt. Asude plays it out wide to the 77. He whips the ball into the box. Tolu tries to deal with it. Comes here to Bradley. They're claiming for a handball. Asude's fuming. The Hacks players in absolute protest. But what do you think here? I don't know if that's a penalty. I don't even know if it's hit his arm. I think his arm comes across after. I'm not too sure. It happened quite quickly for me to see. And the referee wasn't convinced either. We're going to take this free kick that we just don't with Eri short. It's a dem back to Tolu into Eric. Nice little touch to get away from the 77 here. It's out here to Vance. Vance sprays it for Bradley who's in space. Uh, Eric trying to join the attack. He's got Thomas in the middle. But Sam in support as well. That sees a pass into Thomas here. Thomas has a dem with him. Plays it off to a dem. A dem into Vance. We're playing really intricate stuff right now. It's Vance trying to wriggle and find space. Let's it go to Sam. And he's hit the side netting. The winger's having to drop deep as well. He's trying to do everything for them at the moment. It's into the five. Tolu's first to the ball. Goes from the seven back to the five. Tolu's there again, but he's committed the foul at the end of the play. Free kick for Hacks then. Seven. That's a great delivery into a great space. The deflection comes off the number 18 and straight into John's hands. 77 uh, grabs the ball for Hacks. He's played a pass there. Looks like a loose pass. So, uh, two's done really well there. Great feet from him. Uh, looks in field to 11 or so. We thought he's absolutely sent. Quams there for a chew it. Uh, Quams, the best thing about him though, his recovery. Look at that. He just he just fights so hard for the badge. Uh, you might not see many like him. As Tolu plays this one into space for Thomas. Uh, Thomas has the runner Eri beyond him, trying to wriggle away and find some space to get away. 
And uh, it's a foul. Thomas, hey, 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 hey. Let's not get the handbags out now. Didn't like the four still gripping onto him there. He is literally playing everywhere. Centre mid, right back, right wing, left wing striker. As Asude loses out the first battle to Harry, but he tips it round Eric. Uh, using his speed there as well to get away from Vance. Gets a bit of jam, comes to the 11. Can he wriggle away from Qualms? Quite tries to scoop it through Tolu. That doesn't happen. It's blocked there by Brad off the number two shot. Comes there again and who's there as Qualms. He's got like 70,000 Duracell batteries in his body. The Dem leading the UTR charge. It's uh, Sam on this right hand side. Ball rolling, takes it onto the right. Let's one go into the stands. Sunday League is so big time now. We've even got boards for additional time. Who would have ever have thought this? I know some people are there with their tea in their hand thinking, where did this all go? UTR with an opportunity to utilize the long throw. It's Bradley's throw. It's not the best one. 77 gets it away only as far as the seven. It's wide on the target. That is going to be the last action of the first half. Um, it's been a bit of an even game so far. I think in the last 15 or so minutes, Hacks have done quite a bit more than us. Since we scored the goal, we haven't done too much. Um, but it's been an okay game so far. I think there's definitely a lot to build on. Hacks uh, management not happy with a few of the decisions from the ref. And they're letting that be known. But I'm going to leave you with Drew right now. UTR go into the second half with a one goal lead. I think they'll be the happier out of the two sides. Both sides have created chances, but nothing very clear cut. And it did take a moment of magic to break the deadlock. So hopefully we can get more moments of magic in the second half. Into the second half. These finals never go without a bit of drama. So surely there's a bit of that to come. Rolling back. First two it is Quams. It's spun here over. And uh, Dem's going to be there. Oh, that's a hefty challenge there. And I think it's the number 10. Looking like Scannell. As uh, we get on with the player, Dem finds himself on the ball despite that. And uh, Harry plays the ball in here to Thomas. Thomas now, can he find a Dem? He does. That's a nice play from UTR to build that advance on it. Plays a pass in behind to Eri and a little bit more on that. And that could have been something special. On this near side, the number two tries to shield the ball with his body. Uh, fails to do so the first time. Sam trying to get the ball off him by any means, but he gets the jam. The FIFA 23 jam as he pushes it down the line. And it's up against Eric. You'd think he'd beat Eric for pace, but he actually didn't. Well done, Eric. Eric wins the ball back for us, and he also does well to win the throw. With Tolu at the back, plays it. It's a loose pass, though. 77 wins it. Oh, he's running to absolute brick wall. And Tolu's going to be penalised for the challenge. But I thought that was actually quite a good challenge, just a very hard one. Anyway, Hacks with the free kick. They're going to go short once more. Number 10 drops the ball roll that Eri does on Eri. Things you hate to see, but his pass is bad. Things you love to see. Hacks being pressured back, UTR trying to send them back towards their goal, we've done just that and even going to get a corner out of it. That corner's taken by a Dem, curled into the box, keeper gets there first, not properly though, 8 does well to shield it, it's going to drop here, the 2, he's lost it, comes here to Harry, his shot there, deflected into Sam, into Tolu, puts it in the net but it's been given us offside pretty much as it goes into the net and the linesman's sure of that decision. Back to playing out from the back. Eric on the number two wins possession for us. Thomas lets him uh, go, leaves him to it. Eric tries to kite back there. Uh, loses possession, drops here to the two, has been caught there. Uh, but Hacks might break it. The number five uh, sprays one into the distance. Qualms can't quite get to it. 11 on it. Uh, tries to get away. Qualms makes the challenge. Not long after, there's a little bit of afters. I don't know what's going on. On the corner of your screen, the referee is going to blow up for it. Uh, Qualms and the seven with a bit of beef. Their Sunday league beef. The referee's gonna calm it down and get things under control. In the 55th minute, it's uh, Vance into Tolu. 77 tries to get there. Vance uses his body well, gets in front of him. It's a Dem. Uh, 1 2 advance. He lets it go. That looked like a good strike as well. 8 plays it back to Josh Asude. Little nutmeg there on a Dem. A Dem can't get enough of his shirt to hold him back. Asude tips it there past Tolu. He is so fast. He gets away from Eri as well, still trying to use his pace. Tries to get past Qualms, it doesn't happen. And this happens. Look at them, look at them. It's not acceptable, guys. Over on the left, Eri hasn't really been in this half. Plays it into Eric, tries to get the return pass, it doesn't come off. Qualms into Eric. Eric shifts it there, plays it back to Qualms. He's caught late by Asude, that's definitely a foul. His words had as well. Vance standing over the free kick, takes it short into Eric, plays it back. Back to Eric again, tips it to Bradley, gets it back again, this is nice. Onto a Dem, the Dem can he find a pass through? There's a bit of space out wide and he sees it. Sam on the ball, he's got Eric making a run round his right. Sam lets it go, keeper down to his left, saves it. Almost an hour played, 
impacts with a ball into the 11, slips around the corner to the two, two escapes from Harry. Uh, UTR shirts quickly around him though. Number two, plays it through to Josh Asude in a great position. Can he cut it back? Brad's in the right uh, position again. He's done that a few times this game. He's there once more. Can they build on that? Short corner. Levin sets it back to the two. Escapes the challenge of Qualms. Eri trying to help out. We can't give away anything in this area. It's a save there from John down to his left. Then it's back across into the net. And Hacks have pulled one back. Or so they thought. The linesman's flags up. And they can't believe it. I don't know what for. Let's see. It's the shot from the two. I don't know what he's seen there. But it looks like the man who plays it back who's the 11 is onside the four taps it in I don't think there's anything wrong with that goal I think they've gotten that one wrong and Hacks will believe so too oh I think the linesman's got this one wrong here it's a well worked short corner from Hacks number 11's really heavily involved he's followed it up and I think Harry Sargent and Tolly were both playing him onside the whole time and he's right to throw the bottle as well it's a difficult call to make but I think it's been made wrong. 60 minutes on the clock as well. This could be a pivotal moment for Hacks as well. Yeah, I honestly don't think there's anything wrong with that goal. It's the two on the ball. Cuts inside. Vance shrugs him off. Vance still shrugs him off. He's pulling him back. He's trying to do anything to stop him from getting to the box. And that's going to be a foul. Dan Bailey standing over the free kick. Let's one go. And he's absolutely cannoned it off the crossbar. That was so close. I think Sam might have left the dent in the crossbar here. He's absolutely smashed this free kick from the edge of the box. And it's hit with so much power and velocity. It's beyond the keeper before he can even react. And it's landed further than where it was taken from. Fantastic strike. Surely beyond 100 miles per hour. Bouncing back to Vance. Tries to put it back into an area. Headed away by Hacks. And it's going to drop to Josh Asude with a do-rack on his head. And look at that. Look how fast he is. It's actually quite mad. But his challenge there on Quams is outrageous there. He's caught him late. Ran too fast for his own good. And the challenge is poor. It's not the greatest one. Another look at this Sam free kick. So close to getting a goal. So far, it's not been his game. I don't know if the goalkeeper got a hand to it or not. It was a great strike. Very close to making something special happen. Dem's done his bit. He's putting a shift for us. Joseph is going to take his place in the middle. I'm pretty sure Joseph has a couple goals against Hacks and he'll be looking to get on the score sheet once again today. That's a lovely turn from the 11 to get away from Tolu. He squeezes away from Eric, gets through the gap there past Harry. He's got uh, done well to beat quite a few UTR shots, but guess who's in the way again? It's Brad. He's been so uh, very good at his positioning today. Comes back here to the 10 and that's a zero. Meanwhile, they're claiming another handball on Bradley. Let's see it now. It's a shot from the 11. Gets a block in, and I don't think that is a handball. It might have hit his hand on the way through after, but it didn't look like it did. Eric in possession. Out wide to Sam. Sam, one on one with the number eight. Can he beat him? Can he make something special happen? Sam cuts in. Shot there. Keeper saves it again down to his left. No one close enough to capitalize. Drops down to Joseph. Loose touch. He slips as well. Comes here to the number 10. Knocks it around the corner to the 11. 11 into space for the 88. Brad gets there and he gets the jam up against the 88. Substitution. Eri making his way off the pitch. It's going to be Femi taking his place on that left hand side. It's actually peak. Imagine facing Eri and then having to deal with Femi off the bench. It's in our box. Harry gets to it first. He's caught there. Or he believes he has been. The Hacks player believes otherwise. It's here with Joseph. Number four up against him. Uh, plays a pass down the line. Femi's made the run. The Lino calls that offside. Can Femi score it anyway? No, not quite. Less than 15 minutes to be played, plus whatever additional time. Vance again demonstrating his strength. His turning's been impeccable this game. He's got Femi to his left. Thomas inside if Femi wants to use him. Femi tries to turn like Vance. It didn't come off and he goes to ground. Can Hacks break? It's the number two. Trying to put on the burners. Plays it into a Sude. Sude, we've already seen what he's on. He tips it once more. Is this the last time? And Tolu gets there and wins the ball for us. The yellow card for the 10. Probably something he said. Over on this uh, near side is the number 10. Twisting and turning. Uh, trying to shimmy. Bakes goes for the shot. It's not a bad shot. And if it was a little bit low, it might have caused John some problems. Harry's first to the ball. Able to settle on it. Pick a pass into Thomas's chest. Thomas chests it and flicks it up, coming like his FIFA Street. Uh, plays it into Joseph here. Joseph is in the box. Can he beat this man and get a shot off? Dribbling goes a little bit loose for a moment, but he's able to keep it. Plays it to the edge of the box here to Sam. Touch out his feet and he goes to place it and it's just not been his day. 88's been pretty bright since coming on. Uh, trying to maybe make room for another shot. He does too much for him. His teammates are fuming. 
UTR sub. Junior is going to come on in place of Sam. 1-0. Less than 10 minutes to go. Can we hold on? Joseph on it. Sees Junior in space. Turns inside instead. Goes to Thomas. Thomas round the corner. Back to Joseph. This is nice. Joseph lets it go. Oh, that's a great reaction. Save from the goalkeeper. Thomas and Joseph. Beautiful link up. Deflected off the 18. And that's a great reaction to just go down to his right. And stop that from going in. Polo with it now. Takes a touch with his right. Plays it back onto his left. And looks deep in behind for Thomas. That's a beautiful touchdown to Eric. Back into Thomas. Can he drive towards the box and maybe get a cross in? Cuts inside a little bit too far. Catches the 18. Advantage is given with Femi down this left. Femi drops a step over. Caught by the 18. He's not happy. Ooh, he's fuming there. And he's going to earn himself in the book as well. Advance on the free kick for UTR. Curls it into the box. Harry gets the outside of his boot to it. Keeper saves it. Joshua Sude chasing a long ball. And this is a race that you definitely want to see. A Sude up against Bradley. Bradley wins the battle. But I definitely want to see the race. Fred is now making his way onto the pitch. Thomas has put in another decent shift for us. Can Fred help us see this game out? Let's hope so. Meanwhile, a little bit of a problem. I think it might be a case of cramp for Brad. I'm not sure. It's been very good today, though. Eric with it. No real options. He's got Bradley out wide, actually beckoning for the ball. It's a pass into Fred. We can't keep possession. It's a 23. Uh, plays a ball in behind for a Sude. He's uh, onside, apparently. Plays it across the box. And look who's there again. Injured or not. It's Brad and he gets the plaudits from his teammates. You can see how much it means to him. He's still limping as well. But I said, honestly, it's probably one of his best attributes. Yes, Brad is fast. Yes, he's athletic. But... The fact that he finds himself in these positions time and time again on a Sunday, on a Saturday, he does it and he's been there for us again. That's so, so very well played as we're now on the break with Junior. Junior cuts inside away from the number two. Uh, tries to play a pass to no one really. Hacks uh, with the 22. Uh, plays a ball through the gap. I don't think the 88 was switched on, but it wasn't a bad ball. His hammy is gone. We've got four right, minutes. Take him off. Take him off. Take him off. It's very clear what Vance thinks of Brad still being on the pitch, but what Brad thinks about being on the pitch has trumped it, apparently. He still wants to play. As Fred's done very well, worked it into Joseph, tries to flick it round the 23. Comes back here. It's a foul. Joseph, can he finish? It's wide. Late, late into the game. We're into additional time. Eric's put in his shift. Marcel makes his way onto the field. We're really trying to see it out. Yes, we love to score a lot of goals and beat teams by good score lines, but sometimes you have to win a little bit ugly as well. And I feel like we've battled quite nicely. It's Joseph into Vance, stabs it with the outside of his boot, deflected behind for a corner. We're taking the corner short, trying to keep it there. Uh, Femi's lost possession though. 23 wins the ball. It's here with the 11. Uh, can he break up against Marcel? He's uh, just bursting past him. Surely a UTR shirt's got to take him down. He's played it into space for a Sude. He's turned on the Jets once more. Tolu puts him to the ground. Stays in play. I thought he was going to give a free kick. Instead, it's just the corner. We've got it on the right. 23. Giving too much space to deliver that into the box. Tolu's first to it. He's going to drop here for Junior. Plays it around the corner to Vance. Surely we've got to take it up the pitch and hold it there. Vance cut out by the 22. And they might have an opportunity to break and counter us. It's um, the 31 to the 23, out wide to the 11, up against Qualms. Can get one last chance to maybe get that equalising goal. 11, back to the 23, into the box, into John's hands. He's surely got to run the clock down now. Surely we've got to do things right now. It's another corner, Junior to Vance. Harry now there, we've got the big man out there to keep that ball for us. And he's done well, he wins a corner. And he's also going to be a little bit cheeky. Into the 98th minute of... Play, Harry holding it there once more, using his strength. Still got it, still got it. They've cleared it, and uh, it's going to come back to a UTR shirt. The game management's improving. It's Fred on it, holding it up against two hack shirts. He needs a bit more support. We should be doing that. Keep it in the corner, but the referee's going to blow his whistle. There it is, UTR with the first ever SFL uh, Cup final win. We've won the trophy, and we're going for the league now as well. Uh, but that's a massive, massive boost and that will give us all the confidence we need. Enjoy the scenes.
it for this week's Sunday League. We've got the playoff final to go, which determines if we do or do not win the league, which is absolutely crazy. It's up against the wall. It's coming next week. And hopefully I'll see you guys there. Until next time, 